Hi guys, welcome to this quick review about this FNB48 USB meter. Unfortunately, the instructions manual is very unclear. It's impossible to read and then find out easily what to do. So I wanted to share some information with you. I've been trying now for a couple of hours and this is what I have found so far. So in general regarding the build we have the USB-A input here, USB-A output here, here on top we have micro USB. Here we have most of the menu control left, right and down. Here we have this button here, right button, which is usually for return. Then down here we have the USB-C input, USB-C output, we have micro USB input and we have the PD switch here. So I'm attaching here two USB-C cables. Here we have USB-C power supply and here we have a consumer. You can see it says zero volt, so there's no power running. But as soon as we hit the PD trigger, you can see it turns on and we have normal five volts here. If you don't use USB-C, I think you can have this button here to the right side. But for USB-C, as far as I can see, it has to be on the left side. Then we have a lot of information here, uh, right, about what's going on. I uh, increase a little bit the power here, not too much, but you can see it shows what's going on, the voltage and the amps and the wattage. When we go to the left side, there's more information. I think we could start measuring this even here. Here also uh, very simple, but a nice view. We can push down and we get different digits. I don't know why this is, why they are not using always this. And uh, yeah, there are a couple of uh, screens. You can see that here. You can also see the oscillation or the ripple current couple of different things even we could do some cable management cable testing but i've never been able to do something with that i mean of course we don't have 9999.9 .9 ohms here but maybe it gives us just because we haven't triggered anything but i mean trigger is working we have power so this is something which i don't understand at the moment but i'm trying to figure it out couple of things which i have found out and want to show you and we long press here on this screen we can clear the numbers here and we are testing something or just go back and always when we have two possibilities an OK and a back a push on this button here will be the left one and a push on the right button here will be the right option here so let's do this again when we want to clear I push here on the left side and it will be clear then we have menu on the left side we push this button to the left side for about one or two seconds and then we have like a record list here as you can see we can check different records can long press also clear this list here again go back and we have one on the right side which is for the battery capacity calculation we can do some settings adjust things also something which I haven't found in detail what it is. So there are actually three different menus which I have found one on the left side, one on the right side and one down but we cannot use them all the time so we have to try maybe I'll find out later how it works. Sometimes you can push down then we get into this menu it doesn't work. Sometimes you can a long press the left side and then we get into one menu you can see now we are in the main settings menu where we can uh, adjust the display brightness and some standby and other things also record regarding recording some things regarding triggering and then some system information and to use the menu on the left side we have to be on this menu here and we push to the left side long there's a warning, we press OK with this button here and here we are choosing the PD trigger which I would say is the most important one. We push down, takes a little bit of time, then we are here, we see 5 volts, you can see still at 5 volts 
and we push to the right side can increase to 9 volts and it really has immediate effect you can see that here so you have to be careful what you have here because with too high voltage you can destroy some devices right side 12 volts then 15 volts 20 volts and that's the limit i think the number six is probably the pps but i'm going back here to 20 volts and that's also one of the biggest differences between the FNB48 and the 58 because the 48 has a limit of only 20 volts. The 58 has a limit of 28 volts. After selecting the voltage, we can go back with the white button here to the main menu and have also other information. We can start uh, recording things, monitoring things. And so we can start testing this and we see what's going on so this shows 24.5 watts here uh, pretty much the same so i think it is very accurate and to access the menu on the right side i think we have to stop that i have no clue how to stop so i'm using this button here stop and turn it on again and i'm going into this menu long press to the right side here and then we have the PD listener and the read e marker, but I've tried this and it didn't work or it shows just part of the results. Here it even went back to the normal menu. So I have no clue how we could manage to do that. I have also tested to attach one USB cable from here to here. Also didn't work. But I mean, most of the things are working at the moment. We can measure the volts and amps and wattage and we can activate all these triggers easily from here with a long press that's the thing what i wanted most important functions and i guess everything else will find over time so even though i cannot use all the functions i'm still pretty happy it is providing the most functions which i like and the most important ones especially measuring everything and doing the triggers without using the power directly here that's the really important thing so even though i can't use all the functions at the moment i think it's still the best device on the market for that uh, i mean the whole fnb series no matter if you are buying the uh, 38 48 58 series depending on your needs but this thing is really nice apart from the menus but it looks like it's a solid thing and it's really hard to find anything else at least not in this price range so i would say still full recommendation from my side and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time